The new federal holiday isn't going without recognition here in the bluegrass. Communities all across central Kentucky are planning their own Juneteenth celebrations. LAX 18 Sophia Millar shares what to expect if you attend one of the weekend events. A festival in Winchester and an art show in Mount Sterling. All kinds of different events are happening in central Kentucky this weekend to recognize Juneteenth, the day slavery ended in the United States. And we're going to celebrate it every year, just like we celebrate July 4th every year. In Mount Sterling, Valerie Scott is putting final touches on the Du Bois Community Center's Afrocentric Art Exposition, the first of many weekend events at the center celebrating Juneteenth. So it's very important for people to know that we're not going to slide this history under the table. We're going to embrace it, talk about it, educate about it, and we're going to celebrate it. Friday's art show displays the work of local black artists like Michael Minter. It's the highest honor for me. Minter says Juneteenth is an emotional day that deserves attention and recognition from people of all backgrounds. Those people that went through that and that moment that they became free, that had to be the most powerful moment, the most greatest moment ever. That had to be the best moment ever. Like, you can't even touch that. The Du Bois Community Center will also host a Dirt Bowl on Saturday starting at 11 a.m. and an educational Juneteenth program and soul food dinner on Sunday at 1 p.m. Meanwhile, in Clark County, the Winchester Black History and Heritage Committee will host a Juneteenth festival Saturday at Heritage Park from 12 to 5 p.m. Sophia Millar, LEX 18 News.